everybody welcome back to the channel the main event here today we're going to be discussing how to use champ pal i'm actually recording this at like a midnight uh <laughs> to get this up by three o'clock tomorrow because i haven't uploaded in a few days and that's not fair to you guys um so if you've been here before we usually go over what the mon is what his ability is uh we go over some standard uh consistent sets um something probably a little bit more alternative or more offensive something a bit more supportive if that's like your cup of tea and then something gimmicky for fun just so you get a little education a little bit of entertainment as well um thank you guys for level 100 subs by the way because we should be at that number by the time this goes up thank you guys for being subscribed thank you guys for hitting notifications and we will start this up now so what does chien pao do it's a dark ice type pokemon ability sort of ruined each of the ruined pokemon has an ability that lowers a stat on the field Active Pokemon with this, uh, without this ability will have their defense multiplied by uh, 0 0.75. So basically, it's like a 25% reduction um, to your stats, right? To your defense stat. Why is that important? Because uh, Chien Pao is a physical attacker, and it also enables your physical attacker to do more damage, which is actually a pretty busted ability. Um, each of the ruins has an ability similar to this one. Let's go ahead and get into the first set. So the first set is going to be something that you'll probably see a lot of. It's very standard uh set focus stats because if you look at your stats your bulk is not great it's a 80 hp 80 defense uh and 65 touches of defense not going to be surviving a ton of hits with that so focus stats will probably be one of the most common items at least at the beginning of the format when it comes out just so you can survive hits and get uh, and use your ability for more turns and then get big damage off um protect because again you need to protect yourself uh, sacred sword because this pokemon needs to be able to hit steel types and sacred sword is going to be its best tool for doing that there are other options like brick break but i think sacred sword is better uh, well no i don't think it is i know it's better uh, because it ignores defense boost um and it has higher base power right so brick break is going to be how you hit the stab uh hit the steel types for your stabs you have ice spinner and throw chop uh two strong attacks on their own because they're both both based uh 80 uh and they like i said both stabs so like base 120 for this pokemon plus whatever the damage adds up because of the ability um and they also have good abilities on the attacks as well right so ice spinner removes terrain which is good for certain situations because you know as you guys probably know champion dragonite is like a common duo for the series uh it was before the before the rules first series rule ever got announced um, and once this rule series got announced that's going to be a common thing ice spinner does clear the terrain for dragonite to get those extreme speeds off so that's a really good syner synergetic combo uh throw chop is a good good dark stab into um opposing uh mons who might be using voices sound type moves parish songers uh psychic type pokemon ghost type pokemon hits them all for really good damage good stab for neutral for into things that don't resist dark uh you just probably want to run like max max or something like this uh 252 jolly um uh, the reason you kind of have to run jolly is because otherwise you get outsped by fudder because you guys have the same speed stat i don't know why they chose to make them the same speed i guess they just wanted to mess with our brains because having the same speed stat is actually going to make for a lot of interesting game plans uh, you know, granted, you probably will outspeed most Flutter Mains because a lot of Flutter Mains don't run max speed anymore. A lot do, but a lot also do not. So you might still outspeed them. Uh, but the speed will come into play in the next set. So this is like standard set one, right? You just run the max attack. You get big damage off. You can protect it. You need to keep your ability on the field and enable your partner. Very, very straightforward stuff. So this here, right? And this is interchangeable. So you're still going to run maybe the Sash. You don't necessarily need to, but I still think the Sash is good. And you're still going to run Protect the Sacred Sword because you need to hit the Steel Types, right? But what's going to change, and you're not going to run both of these moves. I just had them both here for the uh, sake of uh, the video. But you can either run, in my opinion, Ice Spinner plus Sucker Punch, or you can run Ice Shard plus uh, Throat Shot. Uh, the reason is because when you do get knocked down to your sash, which is very likely, especially against those opposing flutter main, when you are speed tying, uh, a throw chop or ice shot is going to bring them down to their sash. If they are sash, right? Every single time, uh, or a throw chop or ice spinner will bring a flutter main to its sash every time. Uh, if it is a sash flutter main and they'll probably bring you down to your sash, unless you have like a resisted terror type or like a bulkier spread, but in the event that you don't, right. And you just want to go for damage with your terror types. You can bring it down to its sash and then you are then in an, in, then at an advantage right because you have ice shard or sucker punch depending on which one you chose to do and then you can hit it with priority um and then even stuff that's faster than you if you want to get some damage off before you go down you have the priority so you get like a good stab um it might be more synergistic to go ice spinner and sucker punch because ice spinner gets rid of terrain so like i said in the previous uh set Ice Spinner will get rid of terrain, and then you can have access to your priority moves. Not to mention, since Ice Spinner and Throw Chopper are both 
the same base power, but Sucker Punch is stronger than Ice Shard, it might be more optimal to run it like this. Uh, and then for your Terra, you probably just want to, I think actually for this one, I would consider Terra Ice uh, just because, no, 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 for this one, I consider Terra Dark because the Sucker Punch, you want those to be stronger. And Terra Ice, if you want to run Ice Shard, because I think you want those to be stronger. Um, you could run defensive terror types, but I don't know how effective defensive types are going to be if you're running focus sash anyway. Uh, but again, it, it, is, it is an option, but I think to keep keeping it simple for now, you could run dark or ice depending on which set you run. So this is something that I actually came up with uh, with Moxie. Um, you probably guys, you guys probably saw that video where we use the clear amulet champ pal so you can't get intimidated. Um, we just went max max, I believe as well. We went sub swords of the ant throw chop ice spinner and then we had terror ghost. Um, Terra Ghost was for two things. One, because with Clear Amulet, you don't have space for Covert Cloak, so you can be faked out. But with Terra Ghost, you can potentially ignore that and get a substitute up for free. And then you can Swords Dance, right? Because especially if a strong a strong attacking partner on the side of you, they can't just always focus down on the Chin Pal. So if you can get up a Swords Dance, which we were able to do quite a few times, um, now all of a sudden your Throw Shop and Ice Spinners plus the uh, Swords of Ruin ability are just knocking things out. Uh, clear amulet so you can't lose any of your source dance drops even behind a sub you can't get burned so and then turret ghost like i said not only stop fake out but those super the four times effective fight attack moves go right through you so it's actually a really fun set to use you could change the spread if you want to like something like uh you know more less attack and like more bulk or whatever because you do have the swords dance so maybe you want to get some some defenses going if you want like this is just random numbers i'm showing but like you could potentially drop all the attack if you wanted to uh because again if you want more bulk you want to survive some hits behind a sub and you want to change the clear amulet to like leftovers because you are still once you have the uh substitute up intimidate does not bother you so you may not need clear amulet if you are able to get the substitute up and then get a source dance it just be the plus one if you got sub if you got intimidated on turn one so you could do something like that you could run a recovery berry but there are different ways to do that. So I think that's um, something that is going to interest people. Definitely interested us and a lot of people watching that video. So <laughs> they must have enjoyed the set too. Uh, next up is going to be something more supportive. So like, as usual with these videos, the more recommended stuff is always going to be the simple, straightforward standard stuff, especially at the beginning of the format. Stuff like this is if you feel like you can handle the navigation of the game, because getting up a sub sometimes cannot, it's not always easy. And then not having protect on a set for a mind that's not bulky at all is not always easy. So if you wanted something a little bit more offensive that might take a little bit more time to get going, this is something you could do. These are the most recommended sets, in my opinion. The last two are something I don't always recommend, but just something that I could show you the option, right? I just think it's important to show you all the options and to have a little fun with it. So this is something that's more like supportive, right? Oh, drop my phone. Pardon me. Uh, this one, you're definitely going to run the bulk on. You may even want to drop some speed. You know, if you're running Icewind, you want all as much speed as you can get. So you're going to run as much bulk as you can, probably max HP. If you want to maybe optimize it to have a little bit less HP, but like maybe some more defense or more special defense. And then like a defensive Terra, which in this case, I think the defensive Terra that's good for this one is fire. Uh, because and fire can be good for any of them, by the way, right? You can use fire for any of them. And the reason I think fire is good is because it resists fairy and also resists fire. And Chien Pao, uh, Flutter Main are two of the biggest threats to Chien Pao. Or Chi Yu, Flutter Main are the biggest threats to Chien Pao. And because of the fire stab and the fairy stab. With Terrify, you resist both. So they prob you probably can survive. Um, and then with an Icy Wind, you can lower the speed of the opposing Flutter Main and Chi Yu. You can lower, lower the speeds of everything, even Iron Bundles. So just very just for some more recovery because you're still not that bulky. So you can still get hit with um a lot of damage you could in additionally besides like searcher bear you could then run the covert cloak though because maybe you don't want to get faked out while you're getting off your icy winds um snarl drops the uh, special attack of the opposing special attackers which is going to be really useful in this format in my opinion um because you're not running any like real investment on your attack stats you could actually go minus attack keep your special attack uh neutral so you can get as much damage off icy wind and snarl as you can since they're both um since they're both stabs and your base 90 special attack is not terrible and ruination is just really consistent because it always does um half the target hp right so you could you could run an attacking move if you wanted to because it probably does more damage but if you don't want if you want to get as much damage out of icy wind and snarl you can just run ruination you'll get consistent damage that way and then once you do 50 percent 
your Dragonite or whatever your other Pokemon is, your physical attacker, are probably able to pick up the KOs from that range anyway. So it's something you could try out. Uh, again, these types of these ones are more recommended. This one is uh, something you could try. So this is like the real gimmicky set. We're just going to go full special because it gets good special coverage, right? I get using a lot of good stab. So like Dark Pulse, uh, base 80, 20% chance to flinch. Blizzard is the, one of the more powerful ice type moves we have in the game. Um, and because snow is a little bit better now and you can use it to raise your defenses, you could run this in hail or run it in snow and get accurate blizzards all the time. And then you probably still run icy wind since you're going to get max special in case you want to lower the speed. Life orb is because you don't actually have a crazy special attack. It's base 90. Um, so you probably want a little bit extra damage. Uh, but you could again, you know, run something like <clears throat> run like a sash on this as well, just to keep your, your health up. But I do think maybe the the damage output is probably better for you in this case. This is something that's really gimmicky. I wouldn't really recommend it. <laughs> this is definitely a closed team sheet kind of thing. If you are doing this in open team sheets and your opponent sees it coming, it's probably not going to work. But if you're playing in closed sheets, uh, because they might try to like intimidate you or something to or break out their physically bulky mods and then you hit them on the special side, you might be able to pick up a KO, especially if you're running a Chi Yu next to this, right? You run this thing next to a Chi Yu and you end up getting like a life orb, a uh, dark pulse off into them they might they might they might rage quit on you <laughs> so you but you always want to run the, the speed at the max because especially on something like this where it's a gimmick you can't afford to be going like second and third and fourth you you kind of got to go fast and hit as hard as you can you could maybe um lower some of this and get some in bulk or you could maybe you if you wanted to you could like drop protect find you another special move um, i don't know what else it gets i mean you could run snarl again right could run snarl again and then instead of having the life orb you could run like assault vest so now what happens right if you do it like this you have a uh, higher special bulk and then if you run it in uh, snow with the to get the accurate blizzards you get a defense boost so now all of a sudden you went from a pokemon that's not bulky at all to one that has some pretty decent bulk so that's something to consider like again it's still like i said it's a gimmick <laughs> but it's for fun but you know try it if you want let me know how it goes um i should have asked the question today at the beginning but, you know, let me know how would you run Chi and Pao uh, or how are you going to run Chi and Pao? Uh, let me know uh, what your favorite ruinous Pokemon is. Chi and Pao probably is my favorite one. I think Chi Yu is the best one. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a Chi Yu video. Um, otherwise, I don't really have much else here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being subscribed. Thank you guys for hitting the notification bell. It, hits, it means the world to me once again thank you for 1100 subs i really do hope we get 1100 subs by the time this goes up because i'm gonna look like a fool if we do not <laughs> so hopefully that's the case um and i'll see you guys in the next video peace